So I'm really excited to talk about this topic today because it's gonna be one of my favorite topics of all time, which is getting people high paying in demand careers in a very short period of time. And most of the time, these are careers that don't require any experience or a college degree. Now, there aren't that many jobs out there that allow you to do this, but one of them that does is going to be tech sales. And if you don't believe me, there is an entire playlist that I made of interviews that I've done of people who have gotten jobs in tech sales in a very short amount of time. Sometimes it's $70,000 a year year starting out, sometimes 80,000. There's even one that I recently did where I interviewed Della. She was a stay-at-home mom who was attending college where she went from zero experience to over $100,000 in about a month and a half. There's another video on the list of Antoine who's about five years into his tech sales career and he makes over $540,000 a year. So yeah, if you're skeptical, I totally don't blame you. Check out that playlist. All the proof is there. But the question is, one, what the heck is tech sales? Why does it pay so well? And why is there so much opportunity for people to get into it so easily? And two, how do you get a job in tech sales? sales in one month. And that is what we're going to be going over in this video today. So let's jump right into it right after you absolutely destroy that like button with malice. All right. So first of all, let's talk about what exactly is tech sales. Basically, it is a B2B or business to business prospecting and sales role in the technology industry. B2B means that you are working for a business, obviously, but you're selling that service, whatever service your company offers, to another business. So you're not selling it to individual customers out in the world. And the significant thing about this is when you sell to other businesses, typically the contracts are very big. Oftentimes they can be million dollar plus contracts. So this is a high ticket sales role. If you close a contract, you might end up getting paid, you know, 30, $40,000 or even more. Now, if you look this up online, you're going to see it referred to in different roles. Uh, you're going to see business development representative, sales development representative, SaaS sales, software sales, etc. And in this role, because of the fact that you're not selling to individuals and tiny little transactions, it's typically more of like a consulting role. So you're really just understanding their problems and the needs of their business and figuring out how your business can offer a solution that is going to solve those problems. So it's not like a sketchy car salesman role where you're trying to make somebody, you know, make like a split second decision that they're probably going to regret later. It's much more about listening and problem solving. In some cases, if your company doesn't have a solution to that company's problem, but you keep running into the same problems over and over again, you can report that to the company and they'll actually create the solution. So there's definitely a big relationship building aspect to this because if you do a good job for them, they might come back to you over and over again. Now, when you first start with an entry level role, which is a BDR or SDR, like I mentioned before, you're typically going to be more of a prospector. So you're going to be looking up different leads that other more experienced salespeople can contact. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the good stuff. Let's get into tech sales salaries. So at that entry level role, BDR, oftentimes you can expect to make over $70,000 a year in your first year. And Glassdoor has them making $87,000 a year typically. If you look up technology sales in general, they can make around $106,000 a year. And if you look up software sales, which software sales tends to be some of the higher paying ones, you see software sales representatives make $125,000 a year. And those are just some of the lower level jobs you can get into relatively quickly. At the higher levels, you can go to, you know, account executive, VP of sales, etc. You can make $500,000 plus, just like my friend that I interviewed that I talked about before, Antoine from Black Heights. But yeah, I have lots of examples of people who made, you know, $65,000, $75,000 a year starting out. Second year is typically when they have their first $100,000 year. And by the fourth year, you might be hitting $200,000 plus. Then you have people like Antoine who are about five years in, but he also did have a background in technology who hit 500,000 plus, and he might even hit 600,000 plus this year. And again, listen, if you're skeptical about this, I don't blame you. Technology sales is not for everyone. But with that being said, if you want to see if it's for you, go ahead, check out that playlist. And these are all people that you can just look up on LinkedIn, and they'll be happy to answer your questions if you're interested. And I'm also going to reveal how a lot of them actually were able to get into tech sales in sometimes a month or two. Next, let's talk about the different types of tech sales training. Now, first of all, a lot of tech sales companies out there do require a college degree degree in order to apply, but a lot of them don't. Many of them, you can actually apply to them with just a high school diploma. But if they do have a degree, most commonly you see people going into tech sales with either business or technology degrees. Some of the really good degrees to go into tech sales with would be management information systems, computer science, and information technology. Now, the problem with college is it's very expensive, $80,000 on average, and it takes 5.1 years on average to get through it. A slightly less expensive way of getting into tech sales is going to be going through a boot camp. Boot camps are basically intensive experience that typically lasts like three or four months or so. And they're supposed to teach you how to be a good tech sales rep. They teach you all the skills you're going to need. And then they claim that they're going to be able to get you a job right afterwards. The only problem
problem with this is boot camps can also be horrendously expensive. Some of them are over $30,000. So I typically do not recommend boot camps when it comes to getting into tech sales because they're simply too expensive. The next option on the list, which is my favorite option, if you can find a good one, is taking an online course. They're typically $100 to $1,000, so they're much cheaper, and they're also gonna be faster than a boot camp as well. And speaking of faster, let's talk about how long it takes to become a tech sales rep. Well, depending on the route you choose, it's gonna take anywhere from a month to like five or six years. If you get a college degree, it's obviously going to take you like five years or so. If you go to a boot camp, they claim it's going to take around three to four months typically. And if you take a good online course, they're getting people jobs in something like one to two months. All right. So finally, I'm going to be revealing how my students and people that I interview have been getting a job in one month or even less sometimes. The company that I recommend, which has an online course where you get a certificate after you complete it, is going to be Course Careers. All of the people that I interviewed in that playlist either recommend Course Careers or they attended Course Careers themselves. If you look at careerkarma.com, Course Careers has a perfect five-star rating. And if you compare Course Careers to boot camps, they're typically getting people jobs faster and much, much cheaper. Course Careers costs $500, 450 if you use my coupon code, which is Shane50, down in the description in the pinned comment below. And because of the fact that they actually partner with companies to create internships, it's getting people arguably better results than boot camps. So yeah, if you want to check out their free training to see if Course Careers would be a good option for you, or just tech sales in general, because it's pretty informative. It gives you a lot of really good information on other careers you can go into with tech sales. Check out the free training. I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So first of all, Course Careers has a very active Discord. If you join the Discord, you see people commenting all the time in it. If you look at the course content, uh, there's introduction to the course. Uh, start your LinkedIn profile now. Then it goes over people skills, sales terminology, organizational structure, ideal customer profile, buyer persona. Then they talk about the sales process and they start with the sales cycle, prospecting, sales cadence, sales methodology. Then they go over sales technology, CRM, sales engagement, sales data, tools. Then they go over a section on sales skills, which is research steps, outreach strategy, messaging, cold call outreach, and then cold email outreach. Next, they go over LinkedIn outreach, discovery qualification, testing your knowledge. And then there's an end of course project, which is optional, but highly recommended. Then the last section is gonna be internship prep, which starts off with the LinkedIn profile, then the resume, then the Google and social media presence. Then they talk about interview success, internship success, and the next steps. So if you're doing this part-time, it might take you, you know, anywhere from one to three months. And if you're doing it full-time, people have told me that they can get done with it in a few weeks. And there have been several people that reported to me that they actually got their first paid job offer in less than a month. So yeah, this is a phenomenal option. I'm gonna say it again. Tech sales is not for everybody. At no point am I saying that everybody should do this, right? Tech sales is not for everybody. I've made other videos kind of talking about the right personalities to go into tech sales, but it is a phenomenal option for the right type of person. And I only recommend the absolute best stuff on this channel. I can't tell you how many times I have turned down offers to recommend stuff that's just good. Even stuff that I thought was great, oftentimes I don't recommend. The only things that I recommend are the absolute best offers out there. And that is exactly what Course Careers is. It's getting people absolutely outstanding results. Nobody else out there is doing anything even close to it. So definitely check out some interviews because I'm going to put them right here.